They are stories of the heart from local heroes of 2020 who inspire us to persevere no matter the odds. Among them, a North Canton woman battling ALS, a terminal disease for which there is no cure. But Susie Van Branken sees hope on the horizon. Even on the toughest of days, this ALS warrior has not and will not stop fighting. Our senior news health correspondent Monica Robbins has his update. ALS is not only a death sentence, but it's an ugly one. Our introduction to Susie Van Vranken last fall, mother, grandmother, retired teacher, and dedicated community volunteer, diagnosed with ALS in August 2019, though she suspects it was there long before. The symptoms are hideous, to say the least. ALS stands for myotrophic lateral sclerosis, a neurodegenerative disease that attacks nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. No matter what you call it, the prognosis is the same. And the only positive I say with ALS is it gives you time to prepare for the end, which means Thanking people. But don't confuse gratitude with goodbyes. Susie Van Vranken is a fighter, as we discovered last fall. And she's still fighting four months later, though for now, from a favorite family spot in Florida. It is my happy place. Um, I call it paradise. A happy place Susie has been coming to since the 60s. She wanted this trip to be special, to make more memories with her children and see her one-year-old granddaughter play in the sand. For Susie believes this is her last visit to Siesta Key. Physically, it's just too hard. I'm calling it my final hurrah. The disease has not taken a vacation. Since October, it has continued to rob from her, targeting her hands and speech. I'm sure you can tell my speech is different, but we can bank my voice, which I'm working on, so that when I use the machine to talk for me, it should be able to sound like me. There is no sugarcoating the truth. Susie and others with ALS do not have the luxury of time. Sometimes even the greatest warriors weep. Um, I want people to know how uh, devastating it is, how it takes everything. Beyond the sadness, there's still plenty of fight and optimism left. There may not be a cure for a long time, but if there's something that slows the progression and gives us quality of life longer, that's really our, that's my hope for now. Susie is taking part in two trials, one RNS-60 through the Healy Center for ALS at Boston's Mass General, where a platform trial is testing multiple drugs at once, reducing the cost of research by nearly a third and cutting trial time in half. Drugs that are showing great promise, they're close, but with one very frustrating hurdle standing in the way. Each day that goes by that the FDA won't you know, approve something is very frustrating because I don't have time on my side. Her support team remains strong. Friends from her Hoover High School days, class of 74, mobilizing, emailing, raising awareness, whatever they can do to help get these promising drugs fast tracked. Yeah, all of a sudden there's a bunch of new stuff coming out. You know, a, a bunch of new studies like the melatonin and the gold and... For herself, Susie only wants help in slowing the progression of ALS. She wants more time. It is coming, if not soon enough for her, then in time for ALS warriors who follow. My purpose is not for me, but it's for everybody with ALS. Monica Robbins, 3 News.